Hey guys, Richard Vascar here. Many things have been changing during 2021. Notably the death of Prince Philip the Duke of Edinburgh. And I can tell you that it was upsetting for the royal family. Reagan Farmer will make a tribute to him when a video on YouTube is uploaded by him on the 10th of June. And if that wasn't enough the debut video on my channel on YouTube involves me playing a video game based on Teletubbies. I mean I know Teletubbies is getting outdated for people including myself. But it doesn't mean that it isn't possible for me to play the game. The show aired in 1997 but when it aired I wasn't even born. And worse, I was born in 2000. And when the show ended I wasn't even a year old. The original was the best show and was narrated by Tim Whitnell. I'm not sure whether Mr. Whitnell is narrating the show in the United Kingdom today when he is actually 59 years. He was taken over by Daniel Rigby for when the show returned in 2015. And if that wasn't enough the video game that I will be playing for the debut video on my channel on YouTube is Teletubbies Favorite Games. A lot of people have told me that it is the best children's game for children aged between 2 and 4. This, which caused me to type in the script, is also why I didn't get into Teletubbies in the first place. There are 5 activities to play in the game and I will play one of them. The activity that I will play on my first ever video on my channel on YouTube is the activity, hiding. I mean, hiding is what you do when you get into trouble. The developers of the game never understood the concept of hiding. And a mechanic was implemented in which the Teletubbies swap curtains in the activity if you find the wrong Teletubby. After this, the narrator tells you which Teletubby to find. I can't really remember if the mechanic was also implemented into it. So it's no big deal that the hiding activity is the worst in the game. Well at least in my opinion as I saw a video on YouTube which was made for kids. The hiding activity is the worst activity in the game and I will prove that point in today's video. And if that wasn't enough the hiding activity is worse than Mahavira Gunathan. BJ? I'm sorry but my name is not BJ. My name is Richard Vascore and what you have done is told me off for mentioning Mahavira Gunathan. This is going too far. I really don't understand why I had to mention Mahavira Gunathan during the monologue of today's video. And if you're not careful, you will get into trouble. What? I'm very, very sorry. The children told me off for mentioning Mahavira Gunathan. I know that he's worse than what I will be playing in my first ever video on my channel on YouTube today but it was going too far. With that said, on with the video. Sit back, relax, and get ready to witness me failing. One. Two, two, three, three pairs of curtains. What? Did you really have to count the number of curtains that was in front of me? I'm not a fan of your counting from one to three, and you should be ashamed with yourself. Oh, oh hid behind a curtain. Uh -oh. Mr. Tim Whitnell. Tell me who I need to find. Dipsy was looking for Tinky Winky. That's not who I wanted to find. I wanted the controversial Michael Scott, but he yelled at Jack Aiken for not getting off the phone. Finding Tinky Winky is a different story, and that should be a piece of cake. Dipsy! <laughs> I'm sorry but we need to go back to the moment in which the Teletubby behind the curtain was clicked on. You can see that I clicked on the curtain which was supposed to have Tinky Winky but instead it had La La. What's wrong with the Teletubbies right now? I can't really believe that I clicked on the wrong Teletubby and the replay that I'm showing you is a waste of time. And I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid I will have to give Teletubbies favorite games a 2 out of 10. BJ? How dare you insult me like that? I only wanted to upload a video of the playthrough on the channel and what you have done is told me off by calling me BJ again. I really don't understand why you called me BJ earlier during the monologue of the video. Take a look at the rating. I can't really believe that the BBC gave me permission to play the game and give it a 2 out of 10. 
And if that wasn't enough the video game which was made for children aged between 2 and 4 is not my thing. And worst of all I can't really believe that the Tim Whitlam narrator insulted me in the playthrough today. The 2, the worst number that I could ever give, is also why I found the wrong Teletubby. And if that wasn't enough the Richard Voskor channel should be ashamed with itself for giving the game a 2 out of 10. You should be ashamed with yourself again here for me not being able to click on the correct Teletubby. What? I'm very, very offended. I can't really believe that I rated a Teletubbies video game a 2 out of 10. I'm most ashamed. You will need to find a much better game than the one from BBC Multimedia. I will have to try something else in the next video. Until now, goodbye.